I'm uh, Karl Frederick Schäufele, uh, co-president of Chopin. We are presently at uh, Chopin Manufacture in Fleurier, in uh, the canton of Neuchâtel, in the Val de Travers. And in fact, this is also the uh, birthplace of the uh, of Bertou, um, or, ve or very much nearby. And uh, we also will be speaking about Bertou, which is my passion as well. I, I was always attracted by the arts. And uh, in the very beginning, I wanted to become an artist. Um, uh, as I had the unique chance to enter our family company uh, of watchmaking and jewelry making, um, there's a great uh, creative process involved and basically that's what attracted me and that, that's what still attracts me today and the reason for which I am here, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. In, in my profession, what uh, I like most and what uh, really intrigues me most is to follow a project through from a design, from an idea, from an intention, all the way to a finished product. Uh, whether it is a, a new watch movement or whether it is a, a watch case or, or an entire uh, watch creation, it's, uh, it's really what, what my passion, uh, when my passion comes in. Well, I think every creative process also has to face reality. And sometimes uh, the naked figures uh, might deter you from uh, engaging in something that uh, you dearly want to do. And therefore, uh, what I like the least is obviously uh, the numbers but unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, when the numbers are right, you can allow yourself to do certain things. So it's about finding the right balance. I think the most significant developments in manufacturing over the last, let's say, 10 years have been that we are now able to model and to simulate and to... Uh, uh, basically represent reality in a way that you would almost think that it is reality but it's still not uh, the finished product and now this is a, a great advantage but also an incredible disadvantage because um, things seem to be moving faster and it's not necessarily the best thing um, when it comes to especially complicated watchmaking that uh, there's nothing better than uh, doing your prototype the old-fashioned way and making sure it works. Now, with the machines we have at our disposal today, uh, it's quite incredible what you can do in a relatively short time. And I think this is the greatest the difference between today and, and many, some years ago. Well, Chopin, uh, as most people know, is, uh, is one of the last uh, family held and family run, uh, relatively large uh, uh, groups in, in watchmaking and, and jewelry making as well. And um, that makes us already unique in terms of uh, organization but also i think what is unique about us is the fact that we produce basically everything in house uh, whether it is uh, the movements or whether it is uh, cases bracelets you name it and all the jewelry pieces including high jewelry so we have an an incredible uh, know-how within our company in terms of craftsmanship and uh, craftsmen which who collaborate in uh, in an in a unique way 
Um, as far as Bertou is concerned, well, Bertou is a, is, is a tiny unit um, which uh, benefits really from some of the know-how Chopin has accumulated, especially in, in the manufacturer movements of the last uh, 30 years or so when I relaunched movement making uh, here, here in Florier actually in 1996. But basically uh, Bertou is, is about passion and it's not about numbers as such and it's about uh, uh, reviving and honoring um, an incredible watchmaker in what we think is the best possible way. I think uh, the Chopin has, uh, as a family-run company, uh, I think we have the luxury of uh, really looking at the longer term and not having to choose the uh, short and medium term uh, of return on investment. And therefore, we have been uh, investing in uh, artisanship in human uh, relations for for decades and uh, we we do have a very large uh, community of apprentices and we always had and this is one of our talent pools as well um, and therefore Everything else is, is built on, on this uh, philosophy within the company where we, we try to encourage uh, artisanship and, uh, and not only uh, look at rationally at you know, the immediate return of investment or uh, how we can produce uh, this or that part uh, in, in the most economical way. Very fittingly, I'm uh, active in, you know, time measurement and, and, and time timing instruments, and uh, and uh, I think for me the biggest luxury is to actually dispose of time to to, to have time uh, in which I can freely uh, decide on my on my uh, uh, activities and I think that that is a great luxury in itself today when everything has been prompted uh, in and, and so many things are trying we're trying to put so many things in in a day is to actually find some free time to just uh, reflect and just uh, think a little bit uh, and think a little bit out of the box, maybe. Mm -hmm.